Yo, what's up everybody? Zero Gravity here. Uh, I just finished workout not a while ago called Juggernaut Squad. So a couple things. Juggernaut Squad, four sets, extreme work with kettlebells. The goal is explosive full body strength. Even there's focus on shoulders, you know, because we do a lot of kettlebell presses. It's still full body strength, full body cardiovascular impulse and endurance and everything, you know, just muscle memory, you're learning new exercises, unbelievable. So uh, what I did today, I'm really happy and really surprised that I was able to do 15 standing ab wheel, maybe like 95% of amplitude more or less, but I didn't expect that. Of course, I put 100% effort. And when I realized that I was kept going after 10 prep, I was like, man, that's interesting. So I pushed as much as I could. I didn't expect that because uh, just six weeks ago, I was falling on ab wheel and you perfectly seen that in my videos. So guys, keep it up, you know, power within. So about kettlebells. So there's few options. Uh, I went nuts today, honestly, because I, felt like I have um, a lot of inspiration, especially after this standing ab wheel accomplishment. So I did uh, standing press with kettlebell 70 pounds. I should not have been doing it. So it's probably partially a bad example, you know, ego lifting, but I did it 10 each side, but you know what? I should not have done it because I'd prefer lower down the weight and go with a cleaner form. Anyways, uh, two kettlebells I used on a squat push press. You can also do it with a single kettlebell, but now I'm gonna use double kettlebells here and there. Kettlebell weight is 50 pounds. And uh, so pretty much that's it. So you can substitute app uh, wheel with different style of exercises. Just remember what's important is core strength. Abs, crunches are not important, okay? So I will see you soon and enjoy, peace.